Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how you can recover data from a failed iOmega external hard drive. It's quite simple to recover data from a failed iOmega external hard drive. All you need is a recovery software. One such recovery software is available at this site. Just enter this site on your web browser and hit the download button that you see here. Download the application to your system, install it and then launch the application. I already have the application installed on my system, so I'll just run the application and you just follow the steps. This is how the main screen of software looks like. You find three options, recover files, recover photos and recover drives. The first option, recover files, is for simple recovery process. For example, if you have lost files or deleted files from your system, then you can go with recover files. Recover photos is for recovering the multimedia files from your drive. For example, if you are looking to recover photos, videos, mp3 songs, then you can go ahead with the recover photos module. Recover drives is for complex recovery situations. For example, if you are trying to recover data from a formatted drive or anything of that sort, then you can proceed with the recover drives. Now that I am dealing with external hard drive, I will go with the recover drives option. So I will just click on this module. Here you find two options, partition recovery and formatted reformatted recovery. If you are trying to recover data from a particular partition, then you can proceed with partition recovery. As if you are looking to recover data from a formatted or reformatted drive, then formatted reformatted recovery option holds good. For this video, I am going with partition recovery, so I will click on this option. Software scans and displays all the storage devices that are connected to my computer. I'll select my iOmega external hard drive that's connected to my system and I'll then click on the next button that I see here. Software now starts to search for the lost partitions from the drive that has been selected by me. These are the partitions that have been recovered from the drive that was selected by me. I'll select the partition from which I'm looking to recover data and I'll then click on the next button down here. On next screen I can select particular file types. For example, if I am looking to recover Word documents, I can click on Doc extension. Else, if I am looking to recover pictures, then I can click on JPG file extension. Else, I can skip this step by just clicking on the skip button that I see here. The recovered data from my external hard drive is presented to me in data view as well as file type view. Data view lets me browse to the folders that are present in my external hard disk, whereas file type view gives me the list of all the file extensions that have been found on my external hard disk. I'll select JPG and then click on next button that I see here. I'll now specify the target folder where I'd like to have the recovered files to be saved. So I'll click on this button that I see here and select an existing folder that has been already created by me and click on OK. I'll click on the next button that I see here. After the saving is complete, I'll be taken to the destination folder and here are the files that have been recovered from my drive. It's this simple to recover data by making use of this recovery software. Just visit the link given in the description below to download the software to your system. Thanks for watching.